welcome back guys so today we will be doing tommy boy cdf from netsec focus trophy room so let's start by discovering the ip address first we will be using net discover So we have got the IP address as 190 or 160.0.10. Let's have a nmap automata scan. Nice. So we have got currently three ports open running on the VM. Let's open a text editor to take notes. Yeah. Nice. So there are three ports. One is SSH, another is 80 HTTP, and 8084, which is something same as HTTP. Let's see the scan. Nice. So Nmap has already given us the content of robots.txt as it has discovered ok so let's move on and I'm adding another directory it's using the buster and 190.0.10 welcome to call hand auto system error if you're reading this ok Let's first select and paste the hard visiting directory list medium and php plus txt files. Keep it not being recursive and start. okay so there are a bit of bunch of directories okay, let's see first robots.txe which is being discovered by nmap nice it has enumerated four three directories and a txt file let's first visit the txt file let me zoom it this is the first of five flags and call hand auto you will need them to unlock all the final treasure and fully consider the vm pawn okay so the concept behind this box is like we have to find the five flags and unlock the final treasure to consider the vm fully pawn okay let us take a note of first flag flag 1 yeah that's nice flag 2 flag 3 flag 4 and flag 5 yeah okay so let's move on to another directories Okay, let's save that image. So we'll be seeing the saving the images in a directory. Yeah, nice.
nice so I think we have three images enumerated and uh, if you are familiar with some CTF stuff then you may be knowing that like in this type of images we may get some user comment or any md5 hash or a text file which we can or any text directory which leads ahead so let us see using xf tool scream dot jpg yes no mean type image jif version comment nope there's nothing interesting let's move on to another image that's tmf see nothing here xf tool six pack of soda mm, that's something much let's search for any user comment Nope. Mm, yeah. Yes, we haven't uh, got any user comment something. So nice. Nice. Sure. Let's move on and I'm writing here you visiting the source code comment so there's a conversation between Nick and Richard Richard backup copy is in big storm okay there's a backup copy in big Tom's home folder nice that's a clue can you give me access to big Tom's only word or password a processor can only handle one command at a time I will set you up the admin access ok log again the loser is weird so there is a youtube link let's visit that okay that was nice uh, so the video basically has like okay so there are prehistoric forest uh, gift shop I don't think there is a dinosaur in image there, there may be not much more clue but uh, yeah so take a let's take a note of clues it's the gift shop prehistoric forest so let's try and directories if it is there Now there's no directory name gift shop. Okay. Let's visit on prehistoric forest. Nice. So I think there's a blogging website here. It's a blog powered by WordPress. Nice let's keep the website on our wp scan and then enumerate so what all stuff the website has got itself url
and uh, let's enumerate users to E N U M E R A. Yeah, that's perfect now. Yes. So let's move on to the blogging website. Recent post. Richard, what's the password you put on the protected blog? Is a protected blog post. Hey, now let's look at the Richard folder on the server. Nice. On the server so let's have a look there okay save the image nice let's enumerate first see him using the XF tool Hmm, there's a bunch of stuff here see there we got the user comment let's copy it and I'm defy let's try to decrypt uh, Crack station. Nice. So we have cracked the MD5 hash. Let's take a note of the password. nice so let's move on back since you have a small brain see up top in the address bar think erase the sub to okay we are done with the first post let's move on to the second this content is password protected and your password okay so uh, we have got a password like spanky and it works yes it works this is okay so there's a conversion so you ask me to write up uh, know about the column server on the on the next moron uh, so here there's a bunch of clues given like see uh, you guys are hopeless ship uh, not this one the column auto website usually pretty sure but if for some reason the page is down backup so there's a backup file call hand what you can just rename to index and everything will be good okay so let's take a note of this it may be useful ahead then the second is important you have to do this under big storm account via ssh to perform the restore okay so we have to do the uh, this restore process with only big tom account warning always forgets his account password warning two i screwed up his system account when i created it on the server so it is not called what it should be called okay that's pretty confusing i left a few other bits of information in my home folder which the new guy can access via ftp nice so there's ftp port running Oh, except I should mention the FTP server is super flanky and I haven't, I haven't had the time to fix it. Basically, I couldn't get it running on the standard port, so it is not running on port number 21. That's the clue. So I put it on the port that mode scammer exhaust. You are looking for it. Okay, matter takes more fun. Now it's somebody else problem. Okay, nice. Then the last one is having you ask me to leave you with the account my account password for the server and instead of laughing in your face which is what I wanted to I just reset my account Nick Burns 
so there is a name given so account name for FTP to be user yeah in case you attempt and can't remember to a very very easy to guess also so that's a pretty straightforward guess like it may be anything like one two three or it may be neck burns too I remove my SSH access because I don't want you calling me the email. Okay, so we don't have SSH access of Nick, and I think we have the access of Big Tom's. That's good. So there's a bunch of information. Let's first look for. Let's see if the FTP port has been discovered by our Nmap automata. Oh, I don't think so. Nope. Uh, let's run again, and if we are lucky, we may get the port this time. Okay, so that was nice. Uh, said company news. I'm deeply. Okay, that's nothing interesting here. okay that's a normal conversation whoa so i think we have got the second flag also let's paste it nice that was easy cool so we have achieved the second flag then this thing can be done only by SSH uh, we need to look for now FTP okay so let's close this let's close this let's close this okay let's move on to let's do a manual scan and map 90 if and p nice so yes we have got 65,500 but it is unknown let's have a 534 I think this may be of HT, FT, FTP yeah so let's try connecting it okay but we don't know the password yes so there was a clue like it's this is the most simpler so why not try the same username ftp 0.10 65,534 neck burns yeah neck burns cool so we were successful in logging in the clue was much straightforward neck burns so let us see what neck burns has got for us let's get that readme.txt file nice so is there anything else for us mm, nope are we able to traverse the directories no nope. let's close the port and cat readme.txt to my replacement if you're reading this you have this unfortunate job of taking an it responsibility from me here at call hand auto okay 
You'll be surrounded by stupid monkey. Cut, cut. There's a subfolder called Nixlet on the server. Somewhere I use. Let my personal Dropbox on the company's time for years. Lol. I made an encrypted touch zip of his passwords and put them in the Nixlet folder as well. But guess what? Don't forget that passwords as well. Luckily, I am a nice guy. Okay, so there's a hint sheet uh, which may be having some hint regarding the passwords. Cool. So let's see if what is in the directory of next let okay but we have got another HTTP port running that's on 1901681008 oh this is only for next super secret stuff if you don't know where to go from here you're not super lit give me steve jobs are allowed to look at this stuff this may have do something regarding the user agent yeah let's start pop I think you may be all familiar with um, using pop okay so let's intercept the request using and the header should be preset to unless Steve Jobs can understand then it may be the iOS header okay so Keep it under stepped off and let's try to run it. Nice. Well, you passed the dummy test, but Nick secret door isn't that easy to open. Got uh, the exact name of dot HTML to break into the fortress. Good luck. Nice. So we need to fuss the dot HTML file. Let's move on to. So using FW first we can okay so wordless we need to mention here directory text uh, then we need to mention the header so we'll get the header from here and that <clears throat> okay so we don't want the 404 and cool let's wait for a few minutes Oh, so we made a mistake. Yeah, first dot HTML. Yeah. Nice. So we have got a directory fill on one dot HTML. Nice. So there are three directories. Okay, so there's Tom's password is up nice let's install it let's see so 
your password vault is protected so we have been given here type pattern of password which is there I said earlier like he will be having a hint not the password okay we have got our third flex sorry flag I've got third flag okay so two rest left and this one we have installed first let's move the okay yeah we have and let's try to unzip spanky may work no okay so it has a passwords.txt here okay so to enumerate the password we would be using crunch so let's I wish I, let's see the man page of crunch okay uh, so we need a hyphen so be using hyphen t specifies a pattern example called weather okay nice so at the rate we'll insert lowercase characters percentage will insert insert numbers and let's insert symbols okay so let's start and have crunch so what we have been one uppercase character your password is your wife for uh, nick's nickname babe not all it's all in lowercase okay nice so and it is of 13 characters so let's start give the command 13 hyphen t view let's give a comma percentage percentage at the rate and yeah is there anything else we are missing okay password or one time break pad i enforce 13 characters in the following the year tommy boy came out in theaters okay so one symbol is done so let's see the year tommy boy came out in theaters Nineteen ninety five. Okay, so the last is nineteen ninety five, and let's go output and password or txt file. Oh, there's a bunch of passwords here. Fifty eight million combinations. Fair enough. oh that was too fast so let's see yeah here is our password.txt file okay so now we have to crack the zip file so we'll be using fcrack zip hyphen h brute force d for dictionary yes i have a dictionary verbos use unzip okay uh, let's give the command hyphen v for verbos hyphen d for the dictionary uh, next is unzip yes and as end password string use string as initial password okay let's provide this too and the 
password.txt file and the t0 yeah let's wait for a few minutes Okay, so we had we didn't saw the WP scan. Okay, so there are users identified by let's see if there's any else. Okay. Now there are no plugins. Uh, Tommy Richard Tom Okay. So let's make a. I don't. I think we don't need any more Dubuster. CD. One half. Tommy boy. Nano user. Dot txt. Let's do the users. Tommy. Tom. Richard then Dick Tom Tom Junior and M-I-C-H-E Michelle yeah okay so we have a bunch of users user.txt provide a password home kali rocky.txt let's see but forcing works or not so let us checking for passwords nice so we got a success of we got the password for tom let's copy here let's see what we have got here okay it's working so let's move on to the wordpress login page and see if it works tom 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 one yeah nice so we have successfully logged in into the dashboard let's see on the post my ESSS8 password okay okay so nick always yells at me for forgetting the second part of my okay password oh, i'm writing here nick if you are reading this i don't care if i'm using this thing as a password fault you took away my sticky okay nice oh so i think we have cracked the zip file too let's unzip the okay so i think we have got a bunch of credentials here send us key banking site the not betting site and call and auto server so i think we have got a username and password for big tom senior let's copy paste okay but uh, while sing here we
okay so we have got the passwords actually this is what we now have the username and the two pass parts of password for the big toms ss8 login means the ssh login let's put together and try into ssh 1938 okay 1938 yeah As such, big Tom Senior, it's Tommy. Yes, there it. One six zero zero dot ten. Yes. That's nice. So we have successfully logged in as big tom my senior who am i yeah id okay let's see what we have okay so we have got the call and backup server there's a fl flag file too and a zip file so let's first copy the call hack into the where www.html index.php index.html yeah okay it's done let's see the flag file okay and you should now be able to restore the call and web server to the normal working status yes we have done that but where's the flag file I'll make it easy on you. It is on the root of the server at okay. So let's first take a note of leg four done and cat five dot txt. Are we allowed? Oh, locate five dot txt. Okay, so there's a bunch of let's move on to the home directory and no nope. yes we have got and it is okay so it may be readable only by top top data let us try 5.txv permission denied okay so we need to look for some writable directories let's try using the find command find hyphen so if you are familiar with linux privilege escalation scripts you may be familiar with this script too type d if no yeah let's see okay so there's something like in the next folder patch for dmns let's see So Nick has its own web server running where he uploads his own super secret stuff. So let's navigate to that and see what's going on. If we can use it uh, for for getting a shell of tub tub data. Okay, CD. So that's index.html let's move on the web server only slash okay let's in here oh nice so that's really interesting we can upload file 
let's see which type of file we can upload uh, home one hub let's upload so you have file nice so jpg files we can upload so are we allowed to upload the php files too let's see if it is yeah it is uploaded let's visit reverse.php oh so we are only allowed to upload this four types of file so i know what we can do now so okay i think that we have to we need to stop this uh, let's copy the reverse.php Okay, so let's check the IP address. Yeah, the IP address is set. Nano. Let's open the GIA, JPG file. And like, let's try using C. JPG Okay So I think they are checking some magical character numbers So we need to paste the uh, Yeah this thing let's copy it sudo nano php let's paste it jpg yeah So we have got a reverse dot jpg let's try working with this if it works yeah nice so we have successfully uploaded the file ls get okay So we have updated yeah so it's nice uh, now let's try running the reverse file and open a listening cat here lvp before yeah uploads dot php Okay, so first we need to copy. Yeah. Move the <coughs> 
So yeah. So we have moved the JPG into PHP file and let's run it. I think we have got the shell. Yes. Let's see the ID. Okay, so I think we may be now able to read the text file. Yes. It's a flag data. Let's paste the flag first. Cool. So okay, so now what you do is to take the flag data from each flag. Yes, flag two data was there and flag three. Mark. Okay. Open loot dot zip in big terms folder and you can all the box spawn. So we have got the flag all five. Let's see. Yes, here yeah. and let's unzip the loot file. Let's copy the text and paste here. Okay, so we have got the the end.txt file. Let's see. So congratulations guys, the box is successfully pawned. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.